What's going on, good folks? You know, let me start this video off first and foremost by saying Happy New Year to everybody and welcome to the year 2023. You know, I first and foremost want to give thanks to God for allowing me to live to see this year. Um, you know, we lost some good people last year and the years to prior to that, you know. Um, it's, it's just been crazy how much I've been working. I've been literally working seven days a week, man. I haven't had time to pick up the camera as much as I wanted to. Um, but that also doesn't mean that I've just been sitting around being stagnant, neither. Um, me and Chad, we still been out doing our thing, um, hunting. And uh, here in Maryland, it's to the point now where uh, we're into trapping. So... Um, we did some beaver trapping this morning. Uh, really didn't get too lucky. I'll put a few clips in so you guys can see that. Um, we sat and uh, we called in for fox. See if we could shoot a fox this morning. But um, little critters didn't want to move this morning. So we, we really didn't have too much luck. But um, like always, when you do any type of hunting and any type of trapping, nothing is promised. So that's just how the game goes. Um, for anybody who's been riding with me since day one, you know, watching all my videos that I post, listen, I greatly, greatly appreciate you. Um, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for supporting me. Like it means so much and you guys will never know. Um, but I do want to touch bases on a few things, what I plan on doing this year. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get back uh, onto my two-way thing as well. Um, I plan on actually becoming a certified instructor this year. So I want to get, I want you guys to, you know, rock with me as I go through the process of that. Um, you guys can send me any questions you may have. Uh, I know some good people that, you know, I can link you guys up with and, um, put you in the right direction if you're interested in getting certain permits and things like that i'm gonna do it smart this time man you know and i think it's going to be important to uh, mainly teach safety you know because that's very very important you know i sit back a lot and i watch a lot of these videos man and the carelessness that i'm seeing man it's just it's just it's crazy you know um I've been to the range a few times, got a new spot that I've been going to with my father-in-law, and I, I like it for for the most part. It can get a little crowded at times. I I don't feel it too much when it's crowded, but um, other than that, man, I, I like it. I like it. So, you know, we're definitely going to be back at the range this year. We're going to be out on the water, uh, and we are going to be... Um, hunting when the time comes up again like you know we're gonna do a little bit of everything um so you know I, I just want you guys to sit back and just be patient with me if i can get a video out to you guys once a month starting out that's what i'll do um if i can do once you know one every two weeks i'll do that hell man if i if i could i would do them i would, I would record every day but, you know, unfortunately, I can't, you know, um, not right now. And anyway, you know, I have to work, you know, i got things that I'm trying to do. And I have five kids that I need to take care of. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, post a little clip of uh, our, our hunt this morning. Like I stated, we didn't catch anything, but... Um, we got out there, we, we were able to see a lot of damage that the beavers were causing. And uh, we know, we definitely know that they're there. Uh, we only had the trap sitting out for a night and normally we would leave them out two or three days. So we didn't get lucky at all, but it comes with the territory. But uh, other than that, listen, I'm glad to be back. I missed you guys so much. I miss posting. I miss picking this camera up, man. Just really getting on it. And talking man uh as i stated i'll throw in a few clips um of things you know me and chad and done in the past um the past few months that i've been missing but uh yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go 
thank you so much if you even clicked on the video and you're watching the video i appreciate that and uh if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe if you're into guns if you're in the outdoors um if you're into to trapping and and just wildlife in general subscribe you know i got some good content coming from you guys and uh i know I, you know I, i've talked my shit in the past and Oh, man, you know, I'm going to get back this, that, posting this, that, and the third. That. I'm not making no promises this time, guys. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. The most I can do is at least try to get you something once a month for, for right now um, until I get where I need to be, and then it'll be more often. But uh, as always, you know, drop a comment. You know, give me some feedback. Talk to me, y'all, you know. And um, we'll go from there. As always, listen, I love you guys, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. First of all, let me not be rude, and let me start this video off by saying Happy New Year. We're in 2023. Um, as you see, we're out here this morning uh, checking beaver traps. Um, these last few months, I know I've been MIA. It's been crazy. It's been working, working, working. It's the story of my life, man, seven days a week. Um, I'm definitely about to take more time for myself to get back outdoors and do what I really love doing. Um, as always, we got the infamous Chad Fox with us. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, we got out here a little bit this morning and did uh, some fox hunting, tried to shoot a fox. And Chad came out last night um, and set these uh, beaver traps, which... I was hoping to get out here with them, but like I stated, I've been working seven days a week and I really haven't had the time. Um, we're pressed for time this morning as well because Chad yep, has I to, gotta get to work. He has to get to work, so um, we'll, we'll see what we can get. We don't get a hold of nothing, you know. Uh, Y'all know how it goes, so. Uh, all right. See, that's a small dam here. That's the bigger one there. And they took and built all that. They cut limbs all summer long and all fall. Instead, they added to it and added to it and added to it until it blocked up enough water for you to get to everything. This another one in the spots for the channel that comes down, so across that dam, and we'll run right down in that channel. But it might not have come out of that dam much last night, or out of the lodge, rather, yeah. much last night. It's not over. Mm -hmm. Y'all probably don't want to get in this one because that channel runs this opposite edge and it gets deep quick. I'll stay up here for you. Damn right. It's crazy how it go from being so shallow that it just drops so deep. Mm -hmm. The best thing I like about this is not like that marsh. 
<clears throat> you get down to the marshes, man. The marshes has uh, that black mud, man. That shit's almost like that black mud's almost like quick stance, quick stand, man. Like last time we were out, I got down to that and thought Chad was gonna have to start the boot and pull me back in that way. Win some, you lose some. And some days you get out here, you don't have nothing. You haven't caught anything out here. There's definitely still at least one beetle left in this pond. A lot of times you gotta let these tracks sit for three days too, it helps. Yeah, yeah. But, I don't have that kind of time right now. Just because, I'm on it. With beavers and stuff like that, Two or three days a week, that's normally when you see the most activity. After that, you pretty much got what's going to be there. Roll on. Roll on. The things like muskrats, a lot of times you see it the same day. After the third day, you pretty much you got what you're going to get. Right. Let's go. I'm getting right there, you this thing on the edge of these things is always one of the deepest parts. So when you go to step off here, you want to stay as close to this high side as you can. Because if you don't, there mom. Look, seriously though, you can stay up on the high edge and I'll show you, we only got to go right here. If you look, I'll just rub the water up. There's a cable. Not really much there, ain't, there ain't nothing in this one either. I can't believe it didn't catch anything at all. But, the way this works is when the beavers are swimming up here, they'll cross right here. This is where they're going to cross, they're already crossing here. So we'll try to set a trap in there to get them to step on. Sure. Now it looks like to me they could have come across this side here last night instead. But they might not have moved much either. And they're caught in these foot traps. There's a cable underneath this water that I put in. And it's anchored off at the top and at the bottom. So it'll slide down and then it can't get back up. I'll show you how that system works. Let me get pulled out of here. It's deep water. Yeah, it can get deep. This one, we, uh, we're going to have to get us some chest for you. We got that cable good and tight. And that little teeny metal piece will just slide down and that lock's not come back up. So there is cool. Now, folks, I, uh, I happen to come out here a little unprepared today. I just got um, hip waders on. But um, as you see, Chad's only, what, maybe two feet away from me. And he's damn near down to his chest. I'm not going out there. <laughs> I, I'm not equipped for that, and it's cold. <laughs> so, so my chest, what's that, like your ankle? I'm a little fellow. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Uh, here we go. Lead the way, Jay. Go ahead, you got this. All right, y'all. That's my phone. Oh, shit. <laughs> my damn boot. Hey, man, look. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. How you get like that? I told you, man. That thing, damn, I told you. Bro. I told you. It'll suck it right off of you. Me, bro. I heard y'all sniggling look, laughing look, at me. It was either go to the camera. Look. Or keep walking. They behind me laughing at me the whole time. And Frankie got his boot taken. Damn yeah, right, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> oh. oh man. 
Damn. Oh, you look like the Marvel. <laughs> look, it was either toss the camera or go down. I, if you toss it, toss towards me. <laughs> shit, I almost broke my ankle in that motherfucker, man, boy. I'm telling you, that marsh is even worse. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. A lot worse. I'm gonna go tell RJ to go ahead. I'm gonna see RJ walk through this shit. Boy, I damn near bust my ass. <laughs>